slay, 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 slay through the day. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I didn't post last week because I was so ill. Guys, I've been, I've literally been so fucking poorly. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I've been in and out of hospital. No one knows what's wrong with me. So it's kind of, kind of scary. Um, but they put me on antibiotics, so, and I'm doing great. So, obviously there was something wrong with me and now there's not. But anyway, guys, I'm going skiing on Thursday and I'm literally, I don't know whether I'm excited or not. Like, I like the thought of it, but then when I'm actually on the slopes, I do, I do shit myself. It is really, really scary. The last time I did go skiing, though, I went to Switzerland, which is one of the hardest ski resorts that there is. Um, and that was my first time skiing, so it's probably not the best thing to do. But this time we're going to Marybelle, which is like a beginner friendly. Today's video is a pack with me video. I love watching these. I think that they're really, really handy. And obviously, because I've been skiing before, I kind of know, like what direction my pack-in situation is going to look like. I am going to go shopping tomorrow with Hubert, get some thermals and everything, but now we've got like the basis of what we basically need. I'm such an overpacker. I don't know how people aren't. Like I can't not, not overpack. It's, it's a disease. Fun fact about this trip, we're actually driving. So on Friday morning, we're leaving at three o'clock. We need to get on the Euro tunnel. We drive through Paris anyway to get to Marybelle, so we thought why not stay at Paris for like one night and um, let's just make the most of it. So we're staying in Paris one night, we're gonna have a whole day there and then set off in the morning to go skiing. I just put, I put this off so much and I don't wanna do it. Okay, we have to get everything in this bag. I'm gonna try outfits on as well because I've actually not tried any outfits on, so. I get so stressed when I'm packing. Like, ask my mum. I can't pack to save my life. I, I, I will just procrastinate. I just procrastinate. Right, okay, anyway, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna stop being annoying, because you guys will probably click off and think, she's annoying. So let's pack some jumpers first. I've got this really cute one that was from Alessi, that Alessi sent me. So I feel like that was quite kind of fitting. And then I have this, like, ski, ski set. But obviously I know I can't ski in this, because obviously it's not see see-through <laughs> it's not waterproof so i might just get a cute pick in this and then take this off and leave this at home anyway this is from asos i wore this last year and it's really really comfy um this also has like a cute little detail on the back as well like look at just don't look at my nails i was gonna get my nails done, and i'm like what what's the point like no one's gonna say i'm gonna wear gloves every single day of my life and what is the point moving on and then it comes with like a thermal jacket as well the jacket has a zip it does have thumb holes as well which is handy but also like for like a cute little outfit maybe this will go cute over the top of that because this is high neck as well okay guys i'm so fucking annoyed first things going in okay for another really really quick and easy outfit i always feel like packing things like this as well is really handy especially if you you've got because i have a snowsuit um so it's great to like wear things like this underneath just to keep your extra warm because i feel as well the snowsuits are good but if you start to wear like thermals and stuff underneath you will literally sweat so just to wear like normal gym stuff underneath is probably the best bet when i was in switzerland you underestimate how hot you're actually gonna be. So yeah, these are just a black rib leggings. These are from Primark. Basically, these are my organizational skills, okay? So all of like the tops and everything are that side. And then I'm just putting my leggings on this side. I'm also just gonna pack a bunch of like long sleeve tops as well. So I've got this one from Catch Me. And then obviously for nighttime too, we need to be quite warm. But I have this like woolly high neck. Shit, this need washing. I've also got another one here that I'm gonna pack just in case. Cause obviously a week doesn't seem like a long time but because things again do get really sweaty, just make sure you bring in multiple because you don't wanna start smelling and having to rewear clothes. I don't know why, but ever since I got these, everyone's got them on TikTok now and I'm just like, you, 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 you know, I just love these. These are so nice, but they're quite expensive from Primark, you know? Like the top was like 11 pounds and the bottoms are 16 pounds. But yeah, long sleeve top and obviously your little joggy bottoms as well. I've got a really cute outfit idea. So it's another jumper legging situation. But when I'm in Primark, I'm gonna search for some white leggings or some white thermal leggings, probably. It's gonna be a better option. Personally, I don't go skiing a lot and I'm not in the snow a lot. So I'm not gonna spend 110 pounds for a pair of moon boots. I know that they're really cute, but why would you spend 110 pounds for some moon boots when you could get these for like 30, 40 quid? This is how the outfit looks, but yeah, I definitely do agree. I've got these mittens, but they're not like full on white, so. I'm gonna pack these leggings too. These have freshly just come out the wash. This is so exciting because I feel like this is gonna be 
such a cute outfit. Just let me show you. So okay. So these are from Zara. Uh, you can get these literally anywhere. But they're like little mini like cut off gloves. I saw someone do this on TikTok and she looked better than me. Maybe we could go with some earmuffs. <laughs> Obviously these boots. I do have one of these, but I don't think it's actually made for a headband. Slay, 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 slay through the day. Guys. Here you go. Oh my god. Or do you think scrap this? I look like the queens. I look like I work for the queen. Soldier hat goes really nice with my mittens as well because they're cream. Oh, I'm just obsessed with these. These make me feel really cool. I've got this, um, which will probably ruin the outfit, but let's see. I'm gonna wear this so much, so much. Does that look cool? Oh my god, it doesn't, does it? I look like a twat, don't I? But the more I look at it, the more I think that I look like an absolute idiot and that I belong outside of the Queen's Palace. So this is probably going to be worn a lot. You have all these like zips as well for like your phone and stuff. I always put my phone in there when I'm skiing. So if you want to do a quick little video, I can. And the best thing about it is, look at the hood. Guys, if you are going skiing, I really strongly advise to get an actual ski suit like this instead of like obviously your ski set just because you feel so put together, you know, nothing's going to come out, no skin showing so you're really, really like warm, you get your thumb holes here, I always wear obviously gloves because you don't want your hands out when you're skiing because Jesus Christ, it is literally the coldest thing ever and I'm trying to think practical now, so on the slopes, what am I going to wear? I'm going to wear this snowsuit, yeah? You can get this from any like sports shop. You need to get yourself a goggle, goggle, and a helmet. Speaking about night time as well, I'm going to pack a leather pair of boots. My Doc Martens I left at my mum's and I'm not going to go there before Thursday, so we're settling for these. If I, um, if I fold this right, like, okay, let's try and put this in. I'm going to wear, like, I'm going to wear this going down, so it's just like a tracksuit, but obviously I'm going to try my hardest not to get it dirty. Like, even if you nip into the shops, like, we're staying in an apartment, so we will have to, like, go to the shops and stuff um, quite regularly to make sure that we've got food throughout the week. So for things like that, like, you do need to, like, have, like, comfy things on hand. I'm really sorry about the lighting, but you're in my bathroom. Can't really do much about it because the lighting here is actually dog shit. I need to pack some toiletries. So I'm gonna pack my cocoa butter because I can't go anywhere without cocoa butter. It just looks like this. Not a lot left. I need my makeup cleanser. I love this. When I wear my makeup, this is what I take my makeup off with. So this is the cloth that I take it off with. Face wash. I'm gonna do a razor. I'm gonna put a brand new head on there. I'm gonna pack my shampoo. Um, but my conditioner is really, really big. So I'm just gonna take like a mini conditioner. I have this one. So this is just the Bondi Boost one. I'm also not gonna forget this as well. Okay, we have this little bag here for little bits of like toiletries and everything. I'm not planning on going on my period, but just in case, I'm gonna take a shit ton of these. I came on my, I remember, I came on my period in Switzerland and they had these weird pads, like they were huge and they were so uncomfortable. Uh, and then I do have a hair towel as well. Now I'm thinking jewelry. I probably won't wear a lot of jewelry. Um, especially in the day, but obviously I keep forgetting I'm going to Paris for a day and obviously I want to look my best in Paris and I just keep it in one convenient place. I know it's really untidy in here. I just had a brain fart. I've not really got a lot of things going on for night time. So hear me out. I was thinking I got a new pair of dungarees the other day and I have a cute pair, like some cute pairs of like jumpers that I can wear. So this is like a cream one. And then I also have like this, this cute cider um, striper one as well. Pops your uncle. How fucking cute is this? So I decided I've not really got another makeup bag that I can, that I can use. Um, so I'm gonna have to empty this bag. Instead of packing my skincare, I'm just gonna lay it out because I'm gonna be using it tonight and then I can pack it. So I've got my Kiehl's facial toner. I've got my ordinary niacinamide. I have the Vichy hydrochloric acid. I have my Willelda skin food. I've got Kiehl's facial cream SPF, even though it's gonna be freezing cold, the sun is still out somewhere. 
this is my nighttime eye cream so it's a La Roche Posay one and then this is my daytime because it's literally concealer for your face which is the Bondi Sands Eye Spy and then some Vaseline because my my trust me when my lips are gonna be crusty dusty and let's actually pack my makeup because I'm not gonna be wearing makeup tomorrow six quid and you get five pairs so they're like obviously well they're work socks but i'm pretty sure they'll be fine for skiing but these were eight pounds so they look like this oh no they're fine they're just like they're just leggings they're quite like they're quite funky as well oh look at that so i got a thermal top and then a thermal thermal leggings i needed something to wear like underneath my stuff so there's this this was only 12 pounds this is just like a zip up kind of like a thermal kind of situation i did treat myself to a cute little beanie just thought it's closing down guys so i was like wow there's a cool sale on furiously furiously i don't know beanie i did want a few little uh, new beanies so i got this one this was 20 quid down from 40 and i thought this would be really really cute i went to h&m as well there was this headband which i think is really really appropriate okay moving on to toiletries this is of course i got my tan i'm literally about to tan as soon as i put this camera down i'm tanning because i don't want to be pale in the snow i got some deodorant i've never tried this everyone loves it never tried it and then i got some new will elder skin food and then we got some, then we got some eyebrow dye that's what i got from the sh after i've packed today i'm all packed because we're actually leaving at three o'clock this morning tomorrow morning basically this morning so i really need to sort my shit together and get packing now because i'm not even packed for paris so i need to get this going the thing is though, this is the um, packing situation now. We're gonna basically put all of like, so I'm wearing this tomorrow, but we're gonna basically put all of like the big coats and my big shoes just separately, because obviously we're driving. So um, we can just put them in the boot. But this is what this is looking like. And to be honest, I don't even think that I can fit anything else in here. I do have a spare pocket here though, and I'm probably a little bit of room in there. Um, so yeah, watch me struggle. I'm gonna put a time lapse, time -lapse on. I literally look like a ghost but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this it's gonna be a very interesting one to edit because I'm literally all over the place but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one <laughs>